Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to talk about the fragrances that I wore this week and I had some awesome fragrance days, some cool layering combinations, and I can't wait to share it with you. Now, before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to hit that button, join the Weird and Wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the community. And for those of you that are already a part of the community, thank you so much uh, for your support, for watching, for commenting. You guys are amazing and I'm so thankful for you. And without further ado, let's get into this. So before I talk about perfume, Rose Forever New York sent me another amazing bouquet, which I wanna share with you. So I chose the Pink Suede um, hat box with Lilac uh, flowers in the 16. I like this size just because it fits my decor better. Um, now this one, like I don't know if it's actually suede or velvet, uh, but super soft. I love the color of the roses. The only thing is, is I'm a little bit mad at myself because I was trying to get the roses to match the box and online the lilac looks like it matches the box best. Uh, but I'd say probably the other two pink options that they have may be better uh, with the pink suede box. That said, I still think it's amazing. Looks fantastic in photos. So that's uh, one of the reasons why I love these is they're great for Instagram photos. This particular uh, box smells so amazing. I've got my other roses from two or three months ago and these ones didn't smell as strong as these ones did. So these ones definitely have a, a more aromatic um, smell, which I love. Uh, these ones, these ones I could still smell the roses for about a month and even now I can smell them, but it's very, very light uh, in fragrance. Whereas the lilac colored ones, uh, for whatever reason, they just smell a little bit more rosy. So love it. What I found was um, I would go and smell the roses literally every day. And the beauty of Rose Forever New York is that these flowers are going to last for up to a year. I would say they last longer. I've watched reviews and some people have them for two years and they still look amazing. These have been preserved naturally using essential oils and whatever their process is, but they are actual roses. They have tons of colors to choose from, tons of different sizes. So I could have gone for any size. I prefer this size just because it fits my decor. They have so many beautiful colors, so many different arrangements, and they add to them every month. So I love them. I, I didn't think, honestly, that I would love them as much as I do, uh, but they're just so pretty. And if you like pretty, feminine, beautiful flowers, uh, this is such a great option. Makes an amazing gift, and yeah, it's a gift that keeps on giving because they just keep lasting, which I love. So um, they are quite pricey, that said, they are always having sales. And really, uh, when you think about buying a dozen roses uh, that are gonna last you two weeks, these ones are gonna last you up to a year. So really, maybe you're saving money, especially if you like having fresh flowers in the house all the time. So love this one. This one's gonna go in my bedroom. I have this black and white one actually on my mantelpiece all the time. So look at these. Aren't they amazing? Okay, that's it. Let's talk about fragrance. As I had mentioned, um, I was sick for about a week. I couldn't smell anything. It was a full-on sinus uh, flu slash cold. I don't know. It wasn't COVID. Uh, I tested. Tested negative. <laughs> but I was really, really, really sick. So I uh, couldn't smell anything for the longest time. And so oftentimes I like when I'm sick, I feel sick to my stomach and I felt sick to my stomach, but I wanted something like quite pungent and uh, citrus because oftentimes I find that'll kind of trigger, like that's actually what triggered uh, when I had COVID. Uh, I got my scent back eating it in an orange and smelling that orange. So I wanted to put on some sort of like fragrance that would kind of give me that uh, citrusy type vibe, orangey citrusy. So I decided to go with mango. Uh, I'm going to share the whole routine because it was so fantastic. So I used the shower gel. Um, it's by Nivea and it's called Fresh Blends Apricot Mango Rice Milk. And this is just 
Uh, it just smells like mango. Peachy mango is basically what I get out of this. Super awesome, nice and fragrant. Um, I used this Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in uh, crushed almond and mango butter, and this thing smells amazing. Part of me wished I would have gotten the Dove uh, body wash that goes with this one, um, but I really liked the, the brightness of the Nivea one. Uh, so this one's a little bit more milky with that beautiful mango scent. So gave myself a good scrub with this one, like I was totally doing the pamper thing. And then I have this amazing body yogurt from the body shop. Uh, and this one, uh, again, just smells like bright, delicious mango. Like I, I could eat this. It smells so good. Like it makes my mouth water. It smells like a mango sorbet or a mango ice cream. Like seriously, my mouth is watering just smelling this. And then to top it all off, I used the Dirty Mango by Richard Perfumery. Uh, this is a huge sample from, um, from Hesse. And I just, I am in love with this Dirty Mango. I believe there's a Dirty Mango scent by Heretic and it's, the name is trademarked. So probably we can't actually get this in North America, but I love this fragrance. I wanna find something that's similar because it's so amazing, but I can't get it in Canada at this point. Uh, but I just love this Dirty Mango. It smells like mouthwatering mango. It lasts a long time on my skin. This combination with this perfume, I just smelled like a big mango delicious dessert. It was awesome. I smelled fantastic. It's super invigorating and I absolutely love this combo. Like seriously loved this combo. Okay, calm down. I'm too excited. Okay, the next fragrance I want to share with you is called Call Me By My Name by Juliana's Perfume. Now this is an inspired version of Gourmand Coquin by I believe Guerlain. Now that's a, um, that fragrance has been discontinued. Uh, one of the things I like about Juliana's perfumes actually is that um, they do a lot of discontinued fragrances. They've done Alien Essence Absolute as well. So they do some discontinued ones that are major hits, which I love because we want we want versions of them, uh, but they're nowhere to be found. So Juliana's Perfume has come out with a version of uh, Gourmand Co Coquin, and it's essentially a chocolatey fragrance. So this one has chocolate, pink pepper, vanilla, amber, jasmine, labdanum, benzoin, brown sugar, and musk. This is just absolutely warm. It's comforting. It's sexy. It's delectable, honestly. It's very intoxicating, and I can see this one becoming really addictive. It's kind of in the same genre as a Chocolate Greedy or a Hugo Boss The Scent Private Accord. The thing that I loved about this one is that the longevity was up there with a the Chocolate Greedy. So I find that the, the longevity on Juliana's perfumes is just phenomenal. I think they're ex straight to Parfum, so uh, I I loved this one. Uh, I've got quite a lot left, so I'll be, and it, like you don't need many sprays with this one. So even the little tester bottles will last you a long time. So loved using this one. Uh, I just think it's amazing. I think this one's probably better in the fall and the winter, but I love my chocolatey kind of scents here and there, no matter what time of the season is. So call me by your name, Juliana's Perfume. If you like chocolate greedy or the, the kind of cocoa smelling fragrances, uh, this one is an absolute stunning one. The next fragrance that I wore was my beloved Sophia. Now I haven't pulled this one out for a long time and I just absolutely enjoyed wearing this one. It's got plum in it, uh, but the plum, I, I, this time when I wore this fragrance, I think the way I would describe it is a sparkling plum. So uh, definitely get that plum note. You get the cassis in here, uh, which is like a black currant, uh, but there's a bit of a sparkling quality to this and I just thoroughly enjoy wearing this one. When I put this one on, I find it lasts me all day. So like at least seven hours, I could smell it. It projects beautifully. It's invigorating and energizing. It's flirty, it's feminine. It's also classy. This one has that sparkling plum cassis, but there's also some uh, rose in it, I believe. I think that there's um, an orchid 
did in there and uh, you know some other notes. This one is got a similar vibe to Coco Mademoiselle so it's classy and feminine nice longevity. This one is just an absolutely beautiful fragrance. It's super affordable. Everything will be linked down below by the way, uh, but super affordable and I love, love, love this one. I can't believe I haven't worn it in quite a while. Uh, definitely going to be pulling it out more because I just thoroughly enjoyed it. Next fragrance I wore was um, Le Petit Robe Noir Hippie Chic or Légère by Guerlain. Now this one is kind of a brighter, uh, a brighter version of Le Petit Robe Noir. Now I find all of them rather kind of delicate and, and light in the first place. I don't find them to be heavy hitters although the longevity is actually excellent on them. This one, uh, I just really enjoy it. It's very sweet. It's got some raspberry in it as uh, along with that uh, sour cherry and uh, almond, all the other notes in it. Uh, but it just, it's a very, very pretty perfume. I guess that's the way I would describe it. Fruity, pretty, very sweet. Um, although it's light and airy, it still projects really beautifully. So you'll get kind of whiffs of it throughout the day. And it's just a fun one to wear. Definitely going to be enjoying wearing this one during the summer for sure. Now I've got two layering combinations for you. The first one was just absolutely stellar. Like I was so in love with myself again all day and I started off with Pink Pineapple Sunrise by Bath and Body Works. Now this one says that it has sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, and sun-drenched nectar. Oh that's awesome! Okay so this one uh, what I get is that big huge pineapple like a sweet 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 juicy it makes my mouth water pineapple um, along with a little bit of kind of like maybe like a whipped cream, uh, like a pineapple des delight, but without the graham wafer crust. Um, that's what this smells like. So super sweet, uh, delicious pineapple. And then the next thing I put on was Trois L'Imperatrice by Dolce & Gabbana. Uh, this one smells like a big fruit salad with like watermelon, kiwi, melons in general. Um, it smells a little bit watery. Some people say this one smells like if you had um, uh, watermelon infused uh, water, that this would be it. Uh, this one to me is a little bit sweeter than that. Uh, this one also I believe has rhubarb in it, so there's a tart quality to it, but this also has musk. So even though you're kind of getting a lot of watermelony kind of fruitiness in it, there's still kind of a base of musk that kind of softens it out and kind of gives it an extra something something. Uh, this one, the longevity isn't amazing, but I actually get about five hours out of this one, but I really kind of overspray. So I put this one on and then I thought, mm, I'm gonna try my Zucchero Filato uh, by Kai's Perfumery uh, and mix the two together. And basically what I got was a fruity watermelony cotton candy uh, along with the pineapple. I'm talking like a delicious, whoa, a delicious fruit cocktail that was just absolutely phenomenal. I just couldn't stop smelling myself all day. So loved that combination. And then the last fragrance that I have to share for, with you, um, is one of my subscribers had put that she had used the only one intense with L'Entradie by uh, Givenchy. And so I thought, well, I was gonna try that and then I decided to pair Dolce Garden with L'Entradie and it's actually a really lovely co combination. It's a very strong though uh, and it's quite like, it's got this syrupy intoxicating feel uh, each on its own so combined uh, it, this is a real major powerhouse com uh, combination, uh, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I wouldn't wear this in the huge heat of the summer. It was a little bit cool uh, for the day that I wore it. So this uh, pairing worked really well. Um, I never would have thought that this one and the only one intense kind of were similar to L'Entendie, but they actually all have 
kind of a similar quality. So try pair this together or the only one intense with the Lantardi. Tell me what you think. Uh, thank you to my wonderful subscriber that uh, that mentioned the combo. I'm really glad that I tried it. So that is it uh, for the week. I would say that my standout was definitely this combination with the Zucchero Filato cotton candy fragrance and then the whole mango scenario like this layering combination with the dirty mango. I am sorry that we can't find this. Um, I want to try the uh, hair. I think it's called Heretic. Dirty Mango. Kind of want to try that one, but I don't think anything's going to replace this. Like, this is just a fantastic, fantastic fragrance. So, um, I did notice, like, this one is from Parfum Exquise. Uh, they don't have it, and I Twisted Lily also supposedly carries it, and they don't have it in store either. So, um, I don't know if I, I don't know what's happening there, but it, when it's available, I'll let you guys know because I'm really impressed with this one. Like, absolute. If you want to sm smell like a delicious mango, this this is your this is your girl. <laughs> so that is it. Um, what was your standout fragrance for the week? I would love to know. Once again, please check out Rose Forever New York. I'll have everything linked down below. Uh, I love their products. There's so many to choose from, so many different colors, so many different sizes, so many different styles. Definitely worth checking out. And yeah, roses for a whole entire year. That's amazing. Okay, that's it. Have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.